Hey, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another edition of SmackDown Live Reaction. I'm your host, Glenn Thomas, one-fourth of the Wrestling Marks of Excellence, which you can hear each and every week on Fox Sports Radio, 96.9 FM at 1340 AM. Or you can also download the show on Apple iTunes, Google Play, Stitcher, and YouTube, wherever you get your social media. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button as well as the bell notification. But let's get this show started like we normally do here. The show, SmackDown Live, first of all, featured a uh, featured first of two thr triple threat matches matches for a chance to face New Day in a Hell in a Cell. We saw we saw Cesaro, Sheamus, the bar, as they like to be called, take on the club in the Colognes. Winner of this match was Cesaro and Sheamus. They get the win here. And we also heard Paige make another triple threat match, adding Aiden English and Rusev to the match against the Usos in the Sanity. The winner of that match will take on the bar to see who will face New Day at Hell in a Cell. So we know that we're getting a tag SmackDown Live tag team title match at Hell in a Cell. Speaking of New Day, New Day really kicked the show off with a celebration. The five-time, 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 five-time tag team champions was in was uh, welcome or received a special guest today celebration, and that, that was none other than Booker T, the five-time, 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 five-time WCW champion. Uh, this was a great interaction for with these two guys, great celebration, had some good laughs. We saw some spin on Rooney's by Big E, as well as Booker T. Uh, these guys right here are black excellence at its best. Then we move on to Jeff Hardy. Uh, Jeff Hardy painted face painted with the RKO on the side of his face, mentioned that Randy Orton, he he couldn't get out of his head. They met uh, the Centon bomb from the top of the scaffold last week on top of Randy Orton. And he mentioned that Randy Orton and him will face each other at Hell in a Cell or pay-per-view. If you're not, this will right here will be a good match. I think this right here will be the show stealer for the Hell in a Cell pay-per-view, uh, which will be the Viper himself taking on the Enigma Jeff Hardy in the Hell in, in the Hell in a Cell cage in the Hell in a Cell match. Uh, so we'll see these two guys in their feud. We know it has been violent. A violent feud by Randy Orton uh, on top of Jeff Hardy. As we saw, remember a couple weeks ago where Jeff Ref, Randy Orton ripped out or was trying to rip Jeff Hardy's ear out. So these two guys will face each other at the Hell in a Cell pay-per-view. Uh, then we had a match, the surprise of the night, in my opinion, where we saw Billy Kay get the win over none other than Naomi. Uh, Naomi has been on a losing streak as of late here. You find her on, on Twitter, as Naomi posted on her Twitter account, that she's looking for a partner. She don't know what to do, sulking backstage. Could we see the, the return of Tamina here? Uh, could Tamina be the partner, the, the person or someone to get Naomi's back uh, like she needs somebody to watch her back against the Iconics? Uh, we haven't seen Tamina in the WWE ring, I believe, since the Royal Rumble, the Women's Royal Rumble. If I'm wrong, leave a comment below and correct me. But I think that was the last time we saw Tamina in a WWE ring. She's been going through a lot here in the last year and a half with the passing of her father jimmy superfly snooker as well as some couple injuries that she's dealing with uh let's see naomi if the naomi and her naomi mob can get back to the top of things uh then we saw Paige come out and she made a match against with match that was in my opinion was a very good match that could have been the match of the night if most cases would have been the main event match and that was daniel bryan taking on andre sen elma uh bryan and elma locked up uh, and this was a very good match here, very good high flying match, very good technical match. Andre Cien almost almost has been uh, on a roll since coming to the WWE, or oh, being called up from NXT to WWE SmackDown brand. Uh, we saw this match. Uh, the winner of this match uh, is Daniel Bryan. If you're looking for winners and losers, but the big thing to come out of this match is that Daniel Bryan in Brie Bella were attacked by the Miz and Mrs. themselves, the Miz and Maurice at this match. At the end of this match, Sienna, Selena Vega also got some kicks in on Brie Bella as she got double teamed in the corner by Maurice uh, and Sienna Vega. So this right here set up what we would know. We all knew was going to happen. Brie Bella, Daniel Bryan taking on the Miz and Maurice at the Hell in a Cell pay-per-view. This right here should be a good tag team match. We haven't seen the Miz and Maurice tag team together. And since we saw them take on John Cena 
in Nikki Bella at WrestleMania a couple years back. And this, I believe, if please correct me if I'm wrong, that this is Daniel Bryan's and Brie Bella's first time tagging together, uh, which will be at Hell in a Cell as they take on The Miz and Maurice. A very good feud here. A very good by WWE writers to include each of one of their wives uh, in this match to expand the storyline in the feud between Daniel Bryan uh, and Brie Bella. I just hope that we don't never see their kids face each other uh, Daniel Bryan's daughter as well as the Miz's daughter. I hope the kids don't get involved in this. But nonetheless, let's move on uh, to the next feud, uh, which we know now that AJ Styles will take on Samoa Joe at Hell in a Cell. At WWE's Hell in a Cell. Uh, AJ Styles just came out and cut a promo recapping the Samoa Joe attack from last week on Monday Night Raw. Uh, we saw, uh, AJ, saw, all AJ, saw Samoa Joe on the phone. Uh, telling AJ Styles' wife that he's gonna stop by uh, next week for a barbecue since next week is Labor Day. Uh, this this feud will continue on in Hell in a Cell, which I like. Uh, these two guys are doing some great work on the promo, and they're making it personal. They're making you invest, making us as the wrestling fans invested into their storyline, and so. We know that TNA couldn't do this with AJ Styles and Samoa Joe, but nonetheless, these two guys will continue to get it on at the Hell in Cell pay-per-view. Uh, then we move on to the main event of the night, which is Carmella taking on Charlotte Flair as Char Carmella invokes her rematch clause. Not revoke Alexa Bliss, but invoke her rematch clause for, against Charlotte Flair for the WWE SmackDown Women's title. With this match was going back and forth. Very good match. Match was a hard hitting match. Could be one of the better matches that Carmella and Charlotte Flair had. Seeing the frustration from Carmella as she couldn't pin Charlotte Flair. She slapped her around a little bit, hit her on her back. Carmella had a lot of screams uh, and just out of pure frustration. But nonetheless, Charlotte Flair gets the win and she retains her WWE Women's SmackDown Championship. But nonetheless, we get a little bit more action after her, after she makes Carmella tap out. Nonetheless, other than the Irish lash kicker herself, Becky Lynch comes into the ring and knocks out or attacks Charlotte Flair yet again. I love the things that WWE is doing to Becky Lynch, the subtle things, putting her in all black, letting her hair be a little bit wild, letting her go with no makeup and showing the frustration which is on her face, showing that she could be a heel. Whether the fans cheer her or not, Becky Lynch is a heel. People say, oh, they, they should make her the face, then it's Charlotte. Charlotte should be the heel. Charlotte is a great heel but in this case let Becky Lynch be the heel if the fans cheer her or not that's fine but she is a heel let her keep talking the way she talks let her keep moving the way she moves let it be short let it be aggressive let her keep beating up Charlotte Flair and eventually the fans will turn let the physicality between these two women spike up I wish and I hope that WWE makes this a hell in a cell match that it will be inside the enclosed cell so Becky Lynch can shows let off some of her violent aggression so she can establish herself even more as a heel if you disagree with me go ahead and leave a comment in the comment box is it the right thing by wwe letting becky hinch becky lynch continue this heel run but well, we saw smackdown go off of becky lynch holding the wwe women's smackdown title in the air could this be what we see at hell in a cell pay-per-view you let me know Hey, that's my reaction for the smackdown live thought it was a solid show smackdown those two hours wwe are able, is able to pack and make me invest in each other's storylines within two hours uh raw has a problem with three hours getting investing the storyline but nonetheless smackdown key players were out tonight on WWE SmackDown, and they made me watch the show. They kept me invested for the two hours, and I think they were good matches. Another, oh, hey, if you like the SmackDown, leave a thumbs up. If you think we could do something here better, let us know. Once again, Glenn Thomas, one four for the Wrestling Marks of Excellence. Make sure you subscribe to iTunes. Make sure you on Google Play, Stitcher, as YouTube. Make sure you hit the subscribe button here and the notification bell. And once again, if you're not confirmed, consider yourself denied. End of story, ladies and gentlemen. Good night. Oh,